All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Alright, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a fight. Ready. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like to draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Big front lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick, landed. Well, you see him land the 
jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful hit. Body kick is right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates taste the high crunch take for a Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating. I mean, it's right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Lee's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Back to his feet. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Pressure and get the takedown now. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Just out of range with the big right hand. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Yeah. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, now Throw, he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound or he can chase the mission. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He is all about that left kick to the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Straight right, he misses. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Uh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Right up the elbow. Right hand is on point. Tried to go to the body, but unable Quick entry, to hit. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high cross. Oh. Takes a forward high. What a fantastic takedown. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice hammer fist. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Kamada Leo for Sonny Liston. Oh, that's a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Great round. Fight. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight 
with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. That's a big strike right there. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Single collar tie now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Right hand there. Beautiful body to land right on the elbow. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind him. Just misses with the jab there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. Just misses with the right. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Right punches there. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Don't give up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Let's take a goal. Let's get going now. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. Got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big punch land. Ooh. Beautiful body kick. He blocks the punch. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Wow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they set. Lee's kick block. Just unable to quite find that what way. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Good punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Dig and kick. Right on the button. Got the single follow time. Ooh, blocks the shot. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. What a body Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Nice. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, right hand land. There you go. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice move to punch. Lifts on the straight right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great shot. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Oh. A oh, little single collar tie there. There's no kill on that leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Straight back land. Oh, nice. Beautiful collar tie. He's got him in the clinch. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, BC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. Oh! Oh! He landed in perfect place. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Look at him chopping the wood. He chopped the wood with those leg kicks. Twenty seconds left. Goes to the body there. Ten seconds to go. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Ooh, big shot to the body. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is Finish could come at any time. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. This punch lands. Cable of inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. Too many more of those. Real nice body kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, single collar tie here. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful kick. Man. Just look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big head kick there. for the inside leg kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. That one snuck in, nice right. Nice body kick right up the open. Ooh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. And he switches his stance yet again. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. A great single. Oh. 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 What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's going to start trying to move through a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack with an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Position. 
position. Now watch this. And they both stand up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. One minute. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He's been working hard defensively, kick block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Single collar tie now. Great punch. You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. My goodness! The right hand just misses. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Right hand punch from the clinch. And he connects there. Got the single collar tie. Huge knee lands. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. There, DC, and one more of those in that I mean, the fight was going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the proof. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. Nice punch there. Blocks the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, he closes. Great. Oh, there you go. Disrupt him right there. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, 
you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Oh, watch guillotine here. Judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. All right, late in the fight now. He needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Able to check that kick as well. Nice shot to the body there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still! Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that one. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by...